Good morning, everybody. Happy Thursday. By the time you see this, I will be on the road. Ooh, we this hair situation, I'm telling you. It's these braids. Yeah, they they not lasting like they did the last time. So they might have to come down after a vacation. Because <laughs> I'm going to be going swimming anyway. So, um, But anyway, happy Thursday, guys. How are you? Uh, boss lady on her way to work. Oh, trying to get this uh, last 10 hours in for the week. And uh, enjoy myself. Got a couple meetings today that I'm just kind of like, mm -mm. but it's going to be a great day. But I always know something that has been tradition in Boss Lady's life. Whenever going on vacation, something always comes up where it makes you just work harder and harder and harder. And as of right now, <laughs> I've been working my tail off all week. So I know when I come back, I'm gonna have a lot of work, which is fine. Um, I processed a lot of things this week. So I know within another week or so, it's gonna be a lot to do. But I have a feeling today is not going to be an exception. <laughs> Everything will be just thrown at me, left and right. So that's okay though. I'm going in with a clean heart, a clear heart good mind and spirit no weapon formed against me shall prosper and I'm celebrating that I'm going on vacation <laughs> oh my goodness trying to get ready though I'm packed but then you know how you know how you pack but then you like did I do this see people think I'm crazy my family thinks I'm crazy because I pack normally 30 days in advance I normally pack 30 days in advance though because over time my attitude might change my style might change you know I might switch out 511 you know outfits I cannot stand this road Ugh. anyway um, so with me packing 30 days in advance it gives me time to rotate out outfits you know a lot of times I'll put stuff aside and be like you know what I'm not gonna wear this I'm not gonna wear that cuz that's for this trip well I didn't do that this time so now it's like well what am I going to take so I have stuff packed but it's just like do I really want to take that I packed a lot of comfortable clothes um, people just run and stop signs and yeah anyway so I pack a lot of comfortable clothes normally I pack stuff like this or you know kind of more dressy or whatever but you know because we do a lot of walking, you know, I have to make sure my feet are comfortable because years past, yes, Boss Lady has packed like flip flops and sandals and feet be on 10,000. Because matter of fact, that's how I ended up with the foot problems anyway, because I was wearing flip flops all summer and end up doing a three mile walk in flip flops. Y'all know that one, right? <laughs> I know that one, right? I was just trying to be cute. Yep. It showed me better than it could tell me. So anyway, um, so this time around, I just kind of packed more comfortable stuff. I mean, I did pack a dress. I think I'm going to wear the dress on Sunday. Um, but I'm still kind of like, mm, do I really want to take that? Do I want to take something else? So here I am, like, really ready to repack all my clothes. Like, I kind of wish, like, when I got dressed today, I said, you know, I could have took that on a trip, even though I did wear this top in Omaha before, but that was like, what, two, three years ago. So I'm like, you know, I could have wore what I got on today, but I don't know. So, I mean, I don't know if it's because I've just been traveling so much that I'm just like, eh, or what, but I will say this. I am thankful and grateful for the blessings that have been stored that have been stored upon me to be able to travel. This is the first summer ever, ever. Let's just put it out there, ever since Balls Lady has been an adult that I have traveled this much in one summer. Like seriously, but it's all in the planning. Even though New Orleans was a quick pop up, it still is all in the planning. And if you have you know folks who want to bless you, that just you know works even better. 
So even though Omaha is always normally our cheaper trip, um, we do have one more trip that has been talked about, put in the atmosphere. Y'all know I love Vegas. But um, we were planning to go in January. But you know, January is a rough month for us. Even though that's Miss Peanut's birthday month, um, it's a rough month for us because of the snow the snow and the cold and it's not like we have um we don't have like a lawn service or you know snow removal service i mean my dad helps but my dad's in his 60s he don't need to be up there snow blowing nothing you know and then plus we have cars and because we are in a snow state <clears throat> if it snows really bad to the point of having to move cars we could run the risk of you know a car or two being told because you know we have so many cars if they're not moved in a timely fashion so that's another reason why I'm kind of hesitant about leaving um so I don't know I mean unless we literally got babysitters for all of our cars I'm not sure so but I know that's something that Miss Pina wanted to do for her birthday she wanted to go to Vegas for her birthday so I don't know you know I, I, I have to pray about it because I guess told her, I said, if we go to Vegas, that means Christmas will not be happening in Boss Land. There will not be presents. There will not be, because you know, all that money will have to go towards the trip. So, I don't know. We'll see. We're going to discuss it again. <clears throat> because I hate to not take her, you know, because that's what she wants to do. I want to go to Vegas for my birthday. And before anybody says, oh my God, you take your child to Vegas, please believe Miss Pina has been going to Vegas since she was four years old and she has been just fine. She's not standing on tables. She's not on the pole. She's not drinking, popping bottles. So, you know, so don't, don't come for me in my comments about you took your child to Vegas. Yes, she's been going since she was four. And she's actually had a fabulous time. She's had more fun. We've had more fun with her than I think we did when the two of us went twice by ourselves. So, there. That'd be that. <laughs> but anyway, I'm on my way to work. And I'm going to sit. I saw something this morning that I need to put in my bag, which is my glasses. I need to put my glasses in my bag plus my contacts. A new set of contacts because I'll be swimming, so I need to change my contacts. <sighs> I'm like, do I really want to swim? You know, when I get wet, this hair gets heavier than a dog. Like, it be weighing me down. So I really don't want to get wet, but I can't let my baby play by herself. So, you know, I had a problem with getting in that pool. <sighs> We're going to a resort, which we haven't been to. In about a couple, two, three years, I think. It's been about, I know it's been two years for sure. So, um, excited about that. But anyways, guys, I didn't want anything. I just wanted to say hello <laughs> while I am vacationing with my family. And I think what I plan to do, as opposed to doing a uh, video showing, um, video showing like what we're doing or whatever um you'll probably just get a bunch of walkthrough videos from me from different stores just because i want to leave our family time as sacred as possible uh i know boss man kind of already don't want me to be recording at all so you'll probably get a lot of voiceovers <laughs> just to be telling the truth here but as opposed to showing you know like what we're doing or where we're going i mean i might throw a clip or two in there but majority it will be just walkthroughs of different stores and you know things that i see that i may not have seen here at home or whatever so but with that being said guys have a great weekend if i don't chat with y'all before then and i'll see you on a new video Bye bye